Um, hello. So this video is actually for the Colorado Investigation Department or whatever is whatever it's called. Um, but this is about the Suzanne Morphew case, and yeah, she's gone missing since like it's been about a year I think now. But recently came up came up on cyber. I mean, salutes, what, whatever it's called. I'm, I'm bad with names. I am bad with names. But hopefully I'll make this video as short as possible, but with as much information. So when I send this to... When I send the link to this video to them... Because I'm, I'm bad at explaining things over the phone. So I think a video would be better for this. For, like, exchanging information and stuff. Okay, so at first I was thinking that she she got kidnapped by a car. Like, I mean, she was riding her bike and then the car came and, like, took her, something like that. Um, now, but the thing is, it says this is a trailhead where they could bike and stuff. But I was, but then, at first I thought this was the area because in... In the city I live in, people bike in this this area. So I I, I immediately at first thought she was biking at this area, cause yeah, she went missing while biking, or at least that's what the information says. She was biking in from the white line and like over here, but but then I looked, but then I thought about it, and it's this isn't the city that I live in. This isn't the city. This is a huge kind of like suburban or countryside or whatever, whatever you want to call it. And there's so many paths, there's so many trails. This isn't like the city where it's literally just, I mean, where it's just this little part that you're available to bike in. You could go here, 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 like there's so many areas. So my guess is if she was going biking, she would not choose this area, like next to a bunch of noisy cars and stuff. She would choose one of a biker, any biker, even me, would choose an area, like for w whether it's for walking or biking, unless they didn't have a choice, they would choose an area like this where there's a lot of nature and stuff like that, where it's quiet and a lot of nature, not a road. They would not choose to be on the road, next to the road. They would be, like, in straight up the grass, trees, things like that. Okay, next. So, her her house is one of these three. At first, I thought it was this one, but now I'm starting to think it's one of these. I don't know. Even in the Sleuths forums, they weren't exactly sure if it was this one or this one or this one, but it, I guess it doesn't really matter as much. I mean, it kind of matters, but not as much. But the thing is, she has three, I mean, she has two neighbors. Um, she lives with her husband and her two and her two daughters. So from these, she has only, from this, she only has like two neighbors. This isn't like the city where there's, you have like a thousand neighbors right next to you this is like straight up like she only has like two neighbors because there's only three homes here so yeah over here i thought that i thought that she was she was biking and then a car just sped up and maybe kidnapped her or maybe a car sped up and act like maybe it was a total stranger accidentally accidentally like hit her like a hit and run is that the the car like hit her and stuff and and didn't want to face legal consequences and just put her in the car and like whatever i thought that at first but i don't think that anymore there was also a time i was suspecting the husband because because of the house um i think the husband sold the house and took custody of, I mean, not custody, um, took whatever it was, took control, ownership, <laughs> not ownership, but yeah, I think it's custody of, her, of the daughters. So I, I then thought, 
oh, maybe she got divorced to her husband, but then it turned out that wasn't the case after seeing more information. She, she didn't divorce her husband. She still lived with her husband. It turned out that um, her, her two daughters were like away for the week and her husband was away for the week. So yeah, they weren't divorced, so I stopped suspecting the husband after that. Um, basically, the husband was away for the week, and she was, I mean, her her two daughters were uh, away for the week, so she was pretty much alone for the whole week or whatever. For, And this is, this is too convenient for the case. See, there's even an art, article saying Barry Morphew, you know, the husband, Mysteriously files for guardianship. Oh, not custody, guardianship. Yeah, a uh, search for wife, missing wife, drags on, and there's a whole article about suspecting the husband and why it could be the husband. But I don't think it's the husband. I think it's actually one of her. I think it's actually one of her neighbors. And the neighbor could have been doing other things too. Who knows? I don't really exactly know in detail about this post, but there. This made me think that it could have been some gang members, but now I think it's one of her neighbors, or maybe it's the neighbor that contacted her. The thing is, the two daughters, the two, I mean, one of the daughters, while while they were away, you know, because the mother was alone, they tried contacting the mother, um, it, you know, a phone call, but the mother was not answering no matter how many times they would call, so they told the neighbor to check up on they asked the neighbor to check up on the mother and then the mother said I mean the, the neighbor I'm so sorry the neighbor said the mother is not in the home and something is wrong so they called the police and search teams happened and all that there was a lot of search teams going on looking for her but they only found her bike in a ravine which is basically like a narrow path of like higher rocks in in like it's because you know it's like a mountainous kind of area so they found the bike there so they they assumed that she was biking she was riding her bike and she just suddenly disappeared like that but i think that's i think that's not the case i don't think she was even biking at all that day now over here it says Chaffee County um, has a lot of like crime and like things going on. It's no longer some really nice place anymore. Things, blah, 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 things like that. So that's why I assumed maybe it was like a gang or something that kidnapped her. But I don't think that's the case because it's just too convenient for the kidnapper. So it really seems planned, honestly. It seems really planned because... Like, this happened while the husband was away for the week, and the two daughters were also away for the week, and this missing woman was alone by herself bef before she went missing for, like, a whole week. So, it's just too convenient, too good for the kidnapper. I think this is planned. I think it's one of, it's either the neighbor that contacted her or... or one of her neighbors. Yeah, I already explained this part. So, I'm going to try reading this instead of talking because I think reading this would be, would be better at this point. She has so many paths and choices she can take for bike riding. It can't have been a car. I think she didn't even go bike riding. She must have been kidnapped from her own home and then the kidnapper planted her bike somewhere to make it seem like she went missing while biking. They should do a fingerprint, uh, fingerprint DNA scan on the bike. But if her husband and her two daughters were all away from the home for a few days or a week and then this happened, it's just too convenient for the kidnapper. Yeah, the kidnapper must have planned all this. Um, the kidnapper... Um, must have planned this because he knows a lot about the family and then it has to be someone who is close to the family and have and or has a lot of info info about information about them he must have kidnapped her from her home maybe from the outside of her home 
or the inside, but maybe the outside, who knows. So he must have planned all this and then planted her bike somewhere to make it seem like she was bike riding when she went missing. This means it was one of her few neighbors. There's only three, remember, there's only three homes in her area and one of them is hers. So there's only two neighbor homes. This means it was one of her neighbors who kidnapped, it could be one of her neighbors who kidnapped her. Maybe the one that reported the incident after waiting for her daughter to call him after her mother wouldn't answer their calls. So the neighbor pretends to check up on, so the neighbor pretends to check up on her and then calls the police. They should scan the bike DNA fingerprints and then scan her neighbor's fingerprints because she only has a few neighbors, only like two homes next to her own house. I think this was an int intentional planned kidnapping from one, her, one of her neighbors because it's just too convenient for the kidnappers since her husband and her daughters were away for the week and she was alone. So yeah, the, um, to summarize, I think they should do a b DNA fingerprint bike scan. I mean, I mean, bike scan, what? I mean, DNA, fingerprint DNA scan on the bike and then scan the DNA, fingerprint DNAs of of all the neighbors, and which shouldn't be too much of a problem because, like I said, there there's only two homes, I mean three homes, and only two neighbor homes, so it really shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think they should do that unless they already figured that out. I don't, then I don't know. But like, yeah, I don't think she was even biking that day. I don't think she was even biking that day because it should because like I said if she was biking she would have been really fast she would have been biking like through like really fast through the mountain or at field or wherever you know through the open field so there would be no way for the kidnapper to kidnap her if she's biking because she's going so fast so yeah I don't think I don't think she was kidnapped while biking. I don't think she was even biking. She, she was kidnapped from either her her home from the outside or the inside. Maybe near her house or in her house. Who knows? And, it, yeah, I think this was planned. So, yeah, they should do DNA, um, DNA fingerprint scans on the bike and the neighbors. All right, thank you for watching. Uh... Am I gonna get a am I gonna get a tip for this? Like, do I get a little bit of like money reward, or do I get like more if if I if this case is solved because of my help or whatever? I don't know. Hopefully, I get money from this. All right, bye.